Es canta en el maíz de Alonso De mi barrio pa' tu barrio enviando un buen flor Que es lo que levanto monte loco reino Pa' la raza soy, pa' la raza estoy Sigo en este pedo y no lo cambio cabrón Siempre puesto pa' la acción y esto va de corazón Sé que guachas la movida, ribereños es mi clica Escribiéndole a todos los que rifan La ribera nunca olvida, esto no ha acabado Así es que trépale al radio porque esto es dedicado Para todo aquel cabrón que le gusta nuestro son Sigo en esta guerra y en esta revolución es canta en el maíz de Alonso De mi barrio pa' tu barrio enviando un buen flor Que es lo que levanto monte loco y reino Pa' la raza soy, pa' la raza estoy Sigo en este pedo y no lo cambio cabrón Siempre puesto pa' la acción y esto va de corazón Sé que guachas la movida, ribereños es mi clica Exigiéndole a todos los que... Hey guys, H-Town Werewolf Hey, it's been a minute So, if you don't know, I've been doing uh, quite a few uh, competitions Um lately and uh so that's put a little hamper in my uh videos of late so don't worry i'm still gonna um, do plenty of videos i just i need to concentrate on um getting ready for these matches speaking of which the next match is kcon this is in missouri this is a uh it's a two-gun match pistol rifle kalashnikov style and it's a three-day event. Uh, I believe Friday is a, a team event. And then Saturday is its own event. And Saturday, and Sunday it's its own event. So you could just go and shoot one day if you wanted to. Every day is treated individually. And um, it's an awesome event from what I've seen. I haven't shot it before. But I've seen plenty of videos. And... Uh, so I'll give you some of the specifics to it. It's a little bit more, um, uh, what can I say, physical. You have to do more running, um, climbing. Um, it's, 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 it's not your traditional match. So you are going to do some physical activity. And there's also some uh, nuances. Um, all mags, uh, pistol mags, are 10 rounds, so there's that. Uh, you have to have a sling on your rifle, and uh, I believe you can't have any burner mags for your rifle. Everything has to be 30 rounds, so unfortunately for me, I might have to do some reloads for this, uh, for this match. Uh, for KB, I relied heavily upon the... Um, African 50 round mags for my Galil, so But that's good, uh, you know, it gets me uh, You know Practicing with the uh, the reloads, which is it's always good. So and I have been doing some uh, dry fire practice uh, To try to get better with the reloads, but it's still to me like coming around and if you use your thumb like to me that's the easiest method is to come around and use your thumb to rack the rifle like that if i try to use my hand my my wrist my wrist hurts so thumb or my plan is to try to keep a mental uh count of where i'm at on the mag and between targets i'm gonna drop my mag into my dump pouch because that's another item that uh for kcon you must retain all mags so mental note to anyone shooting the match you can't just drop your mags you have to take it out put it in the dump pouch then put your new mag in and uh, uh midwest uh got one on amazon uh in his uh kalashnikon uh two gun video that he just did so i ordered the same one it's got like a little strap on top so it cinches so when you drop the mags in say you're done with the stage and all you have to do is run back cinch it up and then run back that way they don't flop out uh midstream so uh so yeah those are the the differences in this match is uh mag retention uh oh and uh long distance uh Saturday they were doing the uh, 600 yard uh, stage and so that's when I'm running my Sam 5 so hopefully hopefully everything goes okay 
I do need to get back out to the range and make sure that my uh, zero hasn't shifted because I'm adding this is taboo or uh, this is something you're not supposed to do but you know everyone says don't make any changes to your gun last minute and I'm not following the rules I'm not following that advice I'm I'm gonna add the uh, unrivaled brake to my Sam 5 uh, so but I do plan on going back out um, right before going to the right before driving out to Missouri so I'm gonna go back out verify my zero and then I've already got my dope so uh, hopefully everything works out for me and that's pretty much it so that's where that's where I'm at I'm uh, getting ready for KCON and I'm getting really close to 1,000 subscriber guys so did I say that right I'm re I'm getting really close to 1,000 subscribers yeah so hey if you've subscribed thank you very much I uh, appreciate uh, you know all the support I can get comments liking the video sharing them everything that helps the uh, algorithm uh, I really want to grow the channel I really want to spread this uh, sweet 2a content to everyone you know uh, and like I said before in other videos and I don't know if you've uh, heard the podcast uh, that Mark with uh, Fit and Fire did I still have a ton of stuff that I need to record so that's coming I just got to get through this uh, uh, these competitions I've got this one coming up this weekend and then I have uh, AK Masters in June and then after AK Masters I don't think I have anything else until uh, Sons of Liberty Gunworks in November so I'll have a good little segment there where I can go back to recording some of my uh, my pistols and rifles all right guys well that's all I had um, somewhat of a short video I guess I'm not sure how how long I rambled on <laughs> but anyways that's all I got see you guys see you guys what I'm running for my pistol and uh, my holster so I'm running my G code this is my G code belt holster and I'm running my staccato P duo so let me take this out safety checked empty so uh, long story short uh, ever since I've got this thing uh, and I've had it for more than 60 days, so I'm not going to sell it. Um, so, this thing has spoiled me. Uh, I have other handguns, and man, I just keep going back to this. I really like the way it shoots. I like the trigger. Uh, you know, so this is what I'm running for Kalashnikov. Staccato P Duo. I've got a Surefire light on it, and then I got a Trigicon SRO optic. And... Uh, you can only do uh, 10 rounds per magazine at KCON. So I'm still running these mags because these mags drop free. I have the flush fitting mags and uh, they're sticky. So I'm gonna be running these extendos with 10 rounds. So so this is my pistol set, my pistol. All right. And I'm running it in a G code. Like I said, it's a G code. Uh, belt setup and the uh, holster itself is a omnivore so uh, I believe this is was it Blackhawk I think it's a Blackhawk omnivore I'll correct myself if I'm wrong and so this holster is uh, light dependent so this one is for the X300A and so what it does is it provides retention on the on the light so as you slide it in, you can hear it click and it's locked in place. It's not, it's not coming out. And there's a, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a button right here. So as you go to draw your pistol, you push down with your thumb and up. So this is my setup for pistol. Sweet. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right, now, we are doing um, long range on Saturday. 
So I'm gonna show you what I'm running Saturday. All right, here we go. You guys have seen this before. I showed this off in my uh, Kalash Bash setup. So it may look a little different. I added some new stuff to it, but this is my Arsenal Sam 5. So uh, I'm rocking this with the, uh, I guess I'll start from tip to butt. Uh, I've got another uh, break coming in. I'm supposed to uh, add the uh, unrivaled break to this. And I do, I am going to take it back out to the range because um, Clay told me that it can affect the, uh, my, uh, my zero. So I do have plans on going back out to the range to uh, re-zero this with the new break. It's coming in. It should be here tomorrow. All right, moving on back. I added the SLR uh, Rifle Works handguard and their uh, rail system on top. And that is with the, uh, what are these? These are the Slate Black Industries uh, rail guards or rail plates and their hand stop. And then moving on back from there, I added the Magpul rail cover. And if you notice, the OD Green is really in this here, so. Uh, I think uh, Midwest does it best with his setup. His setup is chef's kiss. But uh, so anyways, I'm, I'm also doing some OD green on mine. I've got OD green on top, OD green here on the rails. Uh, I don't know if you would consider this mag OD green, but I got that on there. Uh, I'm running my uh, Sig Romeo 8 with the Juliet 3 um, I try to put a better uh, magnifier on it and the uh, rails for the uh, RS regulate they're a little too thick so I wasn't able to put the magnifier that I wanted on it so I had to settle for the Sig Romeo 3 which it's a, it's a nice it's a decent uh, 3x magnifier but I would have rather have run my uh, Trijicon. I have a, a Trijicon 3X that the clarity is amazing on it. So, so I'm running this guy. This is gonna be my setup for for Saturday. This is the that's the day that you have to go out to 600 yards. Um, I didn't change anything up on the uh, on the buttstock. Uh, the grip is the US Palms, and then I did add the. Uh, Krebs safety so and I added a little a little goon tape to it right right here where you actuate it and man it makes it so much I don't know at least my Krebs safety was a little sharp so with the uh, the goon tape man it, it feels really good and all of that is I guess all my optics are sitting on RS regulate this is the RS regulate mount with the Picatinny uh, top mount, so I'm able to do all of this. And for the stages where I don't have to, I don't need the magnifier. Bam! Just flip it to the side, and I'm good to go. And then you will notice I'm running the sling, so you have to run the sling for KCON, which I'm not used to, but I got a sling on this thing, so so yeah, this is what I'm running on Saturday. Arsenal Sam 5. Uh, oh, and I did add the uh, I added the uh, AOG trigger in this and it's polished so it's super nice. I was uh, when I went out with uh, with the guys to do our dope, I had the the Arsenal trigger in it and man, you can tell the difference when you go to the AOGs. It's night and day. So all right, well, this is for Saturday. Let me put this guy up. All right, for Sunday, you guys have already seen this also. I'm running my Galil Ace 22. And uh, I'll link the video up somewhere up here, I think. But I've already done a rundown on this setup, so 
you guys can go check that out. I haven't really done anything differently to this except for I added the B5 system 22, the grip here, and it makes it a lot easier to actuate the safety. So now it's like, oh, so easy. I had the uh, Bravo Company Mod Zero grip, which is a little, a little larger and more slanted. And uh, you had to like really reach back to actuate the safety with the B5-22. Man, this thing is, it's, it's, it feels a lot better. Also, I added the sling. So I've got a sling on this. Uh, also going with the uh, OD green color. So I've got the OD green sling, a little OD green back here, some on the mags, and then I got one piece of Slate Black Industries OD green right here. And uh, man, this thing is amazing. You guys know uh, I love these unrivaled brakes. So that's why I want to get one on the Sam 5. Um, aside from that, I think you guys have seen this one enough so this one I'm running on 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 Sunday and Sunday I think it's uh the furthest distance on Sunday I believe is 250 yards I think I'm not sure but Sunday set up all right well that's all I got guys uh, just showing you guys my setup for uh, KCON 